everybody, I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to make ground beef quesadillas. Now, I'm going to make them in a handy dandy quesadilla maker that I have that I just got. I'm so excited. Um, but you guys can also make in a regular frying pan, so it's no big deal. Right now I'm just going to get started with my frying pan on my stove. I have it heated to about medium heat and I have about a tablespoon of olive oil. You can use peanut oil. I have one pound of lean, um, lean ground beef. Ready? It's gonna go into my pan and we're gonna brown that up. So just break it up and brown it up. I don't need to teach you guys how to do that. I know you know how to do that, okay? In the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my fillings prepared. I'm gonna have grated cheese and I'm going to make a nice fresh tomato salsa, not much to it, um, just a fresh tomato salsa and we're gonna get some uh, roasted red peppers ready, etc. But get your ingredients ready, whatever your fillings are gonna be, whatever you feel like putting in. Be, ex be experimental. You can put all different kinds of things. Make sure you experiment with herbs. You can put parsley, you can put cilantro, you can squeeze lime in there, you can put different kinds of cheeses. Then you can dunk those quesadillas in all kinds of things, salsas and sour cream and dips and things like that, okay? So sit tight, I'm just gonna get some things organized. I'll be right back. We're gonna season up our meat just a little bit. I'm gonna put a couple dashes of cumin. Let's grind up some nice peppercorns. Maybe six, seven, eight. Fresh. I'm gonna finally grind these up because I want them all dispersed throughout there, but I just want it as fresh as possible is all. A couple turns of my chili grinder. This is really fresh stuff and it's super hot. Just a tiny little turn is extremely hot because it's so fresh when it comes out of here. This is from Drogaria, it's a Drogaria chili grinder. You can get that at Qual First Foods. That's at qualfirst.com. Sprinkle of salt. Now, if you want to, you can caramelize up some onions. You can um, saute up some red, red peppers or green peppers or yellow peppers. Today, I don't have any fresh peppers out of my garden, so I'm gonna use some roasted red ones I have. And uh, that's cool with me, I'm not mad at that. But uh, use what you have and uh, experiment with the flavors, because that what, that's what makes this dish so versatile. You can make so many different kinds of quesadillas and keep it fresh. Uh, and that would uh, warrant having one of these quesadilla makers, you know, around that you can just whip up something new and fresh and, and just let that be like a sandwich. You know, how, you, how many different kinds of sandwiches can you make, right? How many different kinds of pizzas can you make? Same thing with quesadillas. They're so simple and easy, fast, especially if you got a sucker like that. I'm gonna add a little bit of ancho chili powder to this. Now this isn't all this so spicy. It's more like a little bit of a spicy raisin. It's more flavorful than hot heat spicy. Just break up those pieces of ground beef as they uh, form into little chunks so that you get a nice finer grain. I'm gonna use just a little bit of the sweet smoked paprika powder. It's gonna give a nice smoky flavor. It's not gonna be too spicy because it's not the hot variety, it's the sweet one. This is from La Shinada. You can check them out at lashinata.com. They have sweet, bittersweet, and a hot variety. Tonight I'm using sweet because I just want most of that sweet smokiness. Don't forget, I already used that grinder, the chili grinder, so that's gonna give me a lot of that heat. This smells awesome. Feel free to use different chili peppers. You can use chipotle chili pepper, ancho, cayenne pepper. You can use just straight up stuff that says chili powder in your stores as well. But there's a wide variety of chili powders that you can now find, especially in your ethnic food aisles. Okay, that took about five or six minutes. That's all my beef. It's done, it's browned up. If you have excess oil or fat in there, um, depending upon the cut of beef that you had, um, just drain any excess out that you have. You don't need it. Okay, so I'm just grating up some cheddar cheese. I'm using an old cheddar cheese today just because that's what I usually have in my household. I'm not really fond about mild cheddars. They just don't do much for me. I like a little bit more flavor and tang. And I think that's what this gives, so that's what I use. I'm just gonna do some of that. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want. You can use mozzarella if you want. You can use cheddars. You can use Monterey Jack. Whatever. Whatever is clever. Whatever you got in your fridge, whatever kind of um, ethnicity you're trying to make quesadilla out of. Now, don't just think you have to make it Mexican. You could make an Asian one. You could make all different kinds of them. You could make a Hungarian goulash one if you really felt like it, okay? So, the sky's the limit. Don't let, um, 
the fact that it's a Mexican or style dish uh, deter you, okay? So there's my cheese for tonight. Next, I'm gonna slice up some roasted red peppers. Um, these are S and F peppers, roasted red peppers. That's what it looks like. And they come, they're roasted. Uh, you can tell they're roasted. They have little black chunks still on them. I love that. Um, I'm just gonna slice them into long strips just so I can decorate the inside of those quesadillas. I'll probably only need like two for maybe three people. You may want to serve sour cream or a plain style yogurt alongside them so people can dip them in. I like to use the yogurt because I feel like it's tangy. This is a Balkan style yogurt. It's a full fat yogurt and it tastes very similar to sour cream and I think it's probably a little better for you too. All right, I have my quesadilla maker. It is heating up. It's on my red light now. So it just sounds like it's about to turn green. Anyhow, it has a red light. It's not ready. So I'm going to prepare my um, quesadillas right now. My All of my ingredients, my fillings are all ready. I have my beautiful fresh tomato salsa. Make sure you check out that recipe, guys. You're going to want this one for sure. It's the breath-friendly version of salsa, okay? Tonight I'm using these beautiful corn tortillas. Now you get, I didn't get these on my shelf. You get these in the refrigerated section at your grocer. Make sure you check out my, my review on these bad boys. I can't even pronounce them. They're popo kata something. Anyhow, I'll write it on the bottom of the screen for you, but check out that out. Now I'm just going to take two of these bad boys. One of them I'm going to layer stuff on, okay? So I'm going to put cheese on the bottom just because I want that to melt on the bottom. And it's kind of going to hold everything together. You got me? Everything on there where I want it. A little bit of cheese. Next, I'm going to put a little bit of beef in. You don't want these to be really fat and thick necessarily. Just make extra, make more. Make it nice and thin so that it actually can close up nicely. You might have to use your hands to assemble everything properly. Now, if you wanted to, you could even use ingredients, see, as I just did that meat fresh and hot, you don't have to do that. You could use ingredients that um, you've had left over in your refrigerator, and this bad boy is gonna heat it right through for you, okay? A little bit of that salsa. This has some lime, it has a little bit of cucumber, some secret stuff. And I'm just going to squirt a little bit of this sriracha sauce. Now, I know that's not very, you know, Latin American of me, but I'm going to use this because it has a gorgeous, the yuzu citrus in there with the hot sauce is just perfect for this. Now I'm serving um, plain yogurt alongside and some lime wedges just for extra flavor later. Now we just have to wait for this guy. Repeat that with a couple of these so you can have them ready and then you just gotta throw them in while you're conversating. If you want to, you can put a little bit more cheese on the top to hold that mess all together too. Okay, my red light's on, but my green light's on too, and that means it's ready to go. So I'm gonna put this first one in here. I just used um, a little silicone brush with some peanut oil or olive oil, whatever kind of oil you want, and just did the sides, just to keep everything really nonstick. Although this is nonstick, you know, I like to help things along every now and again. Now put it directly in the center, okay? And close this sucker up. There we go. <laughs> it just went to wait a couple minutes. So it squished everything down for me and that's gonna look beautiful in a couple minutes. Now my green light came off. As soon as it turns green again, it should be ready to go. In the meantime, assemble another one. Maybe I'll make this one a little skinnier. That was pretty fast. Okay, I did put too much cheese, but that's okay. It's non-stick, so it's gonna come off really, really simple for me. Now I'm gonna use a little spatula. A spatula to get this out of here to my cutting board. Look at that. That looks pretty good, right? Cool. I'm gonna leave that open for a minute. I'm gonna clean that out before my next one. Okay, so we're gonna cut this up. Look how cool this is. You can actually see the little indentations where it tells you where to cut them, right? So it helps you out. So I have my mezzaluna. Makes quick work of that. Now you're gonna make a bunch of these, clearly, because this isn't a whole bunch. This quesadilla maker is clearly made for larger tortilla shells, the tortilla um, than I have tonight. So that's what we've got. And we're just going to serve it alongside some gorgeous uh, plain yogurt. A little bit of this yuzu citrus sriracha. And a lime wedge. Gorgeous. So let's try them. See what's going down. Mmm. 
I love those corn tortillas. Mmm. Mmm. You just can't go wrong with these beautiful ingredients, really. Honestly, that's so delicious. Mmm. So I'm gonna repeat this. I think I'll probably make like eight of these bad boys for us tonight. <laughs> They're fantastic. I hope you check them out and you try them out. This is my cool handy dandy quesadilla maker from Desert Pepper Trading Company. And I'm not mad at it. I'm just gonna clean that out and get going. And uh, that's it. That's how you make beef quesadillas. Easy during the middle of the week, right? And kind of fun too. Mm. If you're wondering how you can get a cool shirt like this one or something else from the periodic table, yes, I'm a science nerd, um, you can check out zazzle.com slash Aaron 8 Chicago. I'll have it on the bottom of the screen for you. And make sure you check out his cool Kickstarter project for schools. Science is cool. I think science is cool. Don't you? Anyhow, make sure you check me out on Twitter. Follow me at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page. It's Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly and YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is Cooking with Kimberly.com.